Good morning, good afternoon and good evening and welcome back to the channel. Today I am talking about probably one of my favourite books, if not, probably I'd say one of the best books ever written, All-Star Superman. Now he's got up there a couple other Supermans because they're two of the, I would say, best Superman stories out there. Uh, first thing to say, I love the character of Superman, I really do. There is a bit of a problem with Superman, however, in the fact that he is so powerful that it's very, very difficult to write him. Because you can't have him up against your average human, it's too easy. If you have him up against an alien, it gets a bit same old, same old, very boring. And that's why I've always, I've always find Superman a very interesting character, because there's, there's so many stories out there, and I'm not going to lie, a lot of them are bad. Uh, even some of the what classics um, are not my kind of thing. But there are some absolute gems out there. And this is definitely one of them. All-Star Superman, I would say, is, is definitely one of the best Superman stories out there. Um, All-Star Superman ran from... I've got it on my nose, I can't remember. November 2005 till October 2008. So... That's what, like, three-year gap, almost a three-year gap. And for 12 issues, that's what, one issue per season. All right, spring, summer, autumn, winter. Now, I'm not a massive fan of delays in comics. I don't know what this was like. I can't remember back in those days what it was like. I wasn't collecting it. Uh, I can imagine it being a little bit frustrating, having to wait that long for, for the entire book. However, when a book is this good, I would I would have been happy to wait. So a book like this, for anyone who doesn't know, and I'm not going to go into massive spoilers here, because it is truly a phenomenal read, and I think anything that you can get out, out of it shouldn't be spoiled. I really do. This, this is something that you need to be taken on a journey with this book. The book starts off really questioning mortality. Superman does what he does best and saves people, but he gets cancer. By flying too close to the sun, the sun overpowers him. So he has got more powers, but the overload of, of solar energy on his cells has, has made them start to combust. So he only has a certain amount of time left. And this is... This is a fantastic concept in itself. He starts to question his his mortality. This is someone who never really thought he was incredibly powerful. There's not really too much that, that can be done other than the death of Superman comic. Let's let's not let's let's forget about that one though. So there's something like this comes along and he starts to question himself, well, what what has he done? What can he do? And the best bits of this book are not the action. I, I love action. I love action in my books, I really do. But this is a more thought-provoking book. When the action happens, I'm there going, let's just get past this, I want to find out. Each chapter is dedicated to a, to a person in Clark's or Superman's life and, and the relationship that they have, they had, or that they're going to have. And it's... It's incredibly powerful. It really is. And there are little things in this that make both the writing and the art truly exceptional. Things like Clark's posture. When he's Clark Kent, slouched over, like essentially puts on a bit of a beer gut, and he stutters and he's not particularly confident. Compared that to Superman, stands up tall, very straight, very very prominent the little things like that that throughout the whole book have people questioning whether Clark is actually Superman and it's it's fantastic it really is you've got the s on uh, on on his hair and his little quiff which is just a, a nice nice touch you've got again other little things where uh, Lex is talking about people's eyebrows and talking about how eyebrows are a dominant trait and things like that. And then at one moment, uh, Clark t says to him that his, his eyebrows gone because he draws them on. 
and it's truly, truly amazing. Um, there is one issue to this book that I would say is is probably one of the best issues in all of comics history, and that's issue 10. And I'm not going to say too much about it, because within this book, Clark has to, or Clark Superman has to overcome 12 challenges. And what happens in issue 10, it's incredibly meta. To, the, to, to a point where... I really do think that people a lot more intelligent than me could write thesis or doctorates. They, they could write literature on just this one book, that one issue. It's truly phen a phenomenal piece of storytelling. And it, it really does make you think. So this is, without a doubt, I would say one of the best comics ever written. Um, it's heartfelt. It's very emotional at times. There is some action. There's, I'd say very good action moments, actually. But it's not all about that. And like I said, there's little things that are referenced at the beginning that come up at the end. There's, there's things that are referenced throughout the whole book. There's references to Superman's past. Geeky references back back into like the Silver Age and the Golden Age of comics, and it's this is a love letter of Superman. It's, I'd say it's a love letter to the uh, I'd say comics as a whole. It's to me, it it really seems like Grant Morrison not just loves this character, loves the medium, and. He has done something truly, truly special with this. Now, I don't think it's a perfect book. I would say it's very, very close. There is a couple of little flaws. The only thing I can pick out really, though, these couple of flaws are a couple of panels where I think maybe the mouth is slightly too small for the face. And Frank Quietly's artwork is just perfect majority of the book it is perfect but there was one or two just looked a little bit small other than that i mean there's that i don't think there is ever going to be a perfect book i think the moment that you say something is perfect you 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 lose the motivation to, to find something or to drive to try and do better but this is a this is a contender for for about as near perfect as you can get. Now, I would very much suggest, if anyone is wanting a copy, I think the Absolute Edition is probably the best edition out there. Comes with that sleeve, and then obviously you've just seen the book there. Quite large, but it's worth it. It really, really does show off how good the artwork is. And you have a fantastic foreword in there as well. And it's... It's not just a great Superman book. This is a masterpiece of storytelling. It really, really is. And I cannot stress, if anyone is even a remote Superman fan, they should read this book. Anyway, guys, if you have read it, please let me know down in the comments. If you're interested in reading it, like I say, I might, I might do a video at some point where I try and break down as, as much as I possibly can that issue 10, and I will go into spoilers. Um, so let me know if you guys have read it, if you're curious to read it, let me know. And uh, please, please, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It really, really does help me out, especially at these times when, when there's a lot of stuff happening on YouTube. So every like, every subscriber, every comment really does help me out. And, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.